Hi, my name's Callum Dix, and today I'm going to talk to you about pole rollers. Again, when I'm working in the shop, a question I get asked a lot is what pole rollers to use and how do I position them correctly? So to start off with, I'm going to talk to you just how to get your pole rollers in the correct position. First of all, I believe that when I'm fishing under 11 metres of pole, it's one pole roller is adequate. You don't need to use two. It's not a long enough pole to have to use two pole rollers. The first thing I do is I get the top kit that I'll be using that day for my fishing session. I put it onto the pole, I ship out, and I find the balancing point. So wherever the pole is at its balancing point, so you've got the same amount of weight of pole behind your knees as in front of your knees, when you're in the fishing position sat on your box, that's where your one pole roller goes for fishing under 11 meters. Very simple. The one thing you also got to think about is having that one pole roller at a slight angle. Most people will fish dead in front of you when you fish commercials. So what you need to do is strike when you hook into a fish, bring the fish out of your peg and ship back. If your pole roller is dead in front of you, two things can happen. You can hook the fish and leave the fish in your peg where you're catching to scare all the other fish. The other thing that can happen, if you start shipping straight back after you've hooked a fish, there is a chance that the fish can pull your top kit or some of your sections off of the pole. So really important, you find your balancing point, you place your pole roller there at a slight angle that you're going to be shipping in at after you've hooked a fish. Next, when you're fishing above 11 and a half metres, it's really important that you fish with two pole rollers. It really does take care of your pole. The last thing you want to be doing is having a lot of weight behind the pole roller when you're fishing with longer lengths. There's more chance of the pole blowing off of the roller as well. Using two rollers does really make the pole secure and a lot easier to fish with. Again, what I do, I use the top kit that I'm going to be fishing with that day. Again, like I said, when I'm fishing with 11 and a half metres, I find the balancing point. So um, today I'm fishing with 14 and a half metres. I'm just going to rest it on my knees. And there we go, that's the balancing point. So I can leave the poles on my knees, taking my hands off, and that is the balancing point. That's where my first pole roller goes. The second pole roller goes when I've shipped in and taken the top kit off and putting it down and you can use a pole sock but if you're not using a pole sock the second pole roller will go a section in from the end so the first pole roller is at the balancing point at the longest length you're going to be fishing that day the second pole roller is a section in from the end really really simple again like i said when you're using 11 and a half meters you want to position your pole rollers at a slight angle so once they're at a slight angle and you've got the first one at the balancing point second one is sectioning from the end it really does make pole fishing at longer lengths very easy just spoke to you about positioning of pole rollers now i'm going to talk you through which pole rollers i use and the range of pole rollers that maybe uk make to start off with i'm going to talk to you about the reality pole roller now this pole roller is designed around the angler that's on a budget or if you're not like me and got a great big van you're struggling for space the reality one is for you it's slightly smaller than the other pole rollers in the range. It's got a slim EVA rollers. It's still got the weight hook to weigh it down nice and stable when the conditions are bad. And it's still got extendable legs so you can get it a decent height off the floor. It's actually the pole roller I use for just resting my landing net on when it's in the pole crook. It just leans, my pole or landing net handle just rests on it, keeps it a nice height off the floor but it's not too high. The next pole roller in the range is the Mava MVR. This is the medium one in the range. It comes in two different types. We've got a twin pole roller and then we've got the flatbed roller. If you're breaking down twice on commercials like I will be today, because I've got a short line and a long line, the twin one is for you. Because when you're fishing short and shipping back on it, you can separate the two lengths of pole. If you are fishing on more natural then using your fishing for small fish and you want to be really quick and you don't want to have to look for your pole roller, the flatbed one will be for you. Again, like the reality, it's got the weight hooks on. 
it actually triple extends the leg so you can get it even higher than the reality and it's got spirit levels on so you can get it dead level making shipping your pole out as smooth as possible a really great price point for a medium roller the last one we do in the in the range is the top dog the one i like to use most myself it's the Mavis signature pro roller now it is really a fantastic construction of pole roller ultra strong really thick eva again like the other two rollers it's got weight hooks on so you can weigh it down in the worst of conditions it's got triple extending legs so it goes ultra high it will go up to nearly I think six foot so if you have got a tricky bank like you're on natural venues you can get it really high again like the mvr it comes in two different types you've got the twin bed and you've got the flat bed but it really is a fantastic construction of pole roller top of the range now that's three pole rollers to cover all price points and all situations making pole fishing very easy